Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a how they feel about you love reading. This will be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Uh, just keep that in mind. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, Scorpio, this will be for those of you who already have someone in mind. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio, please? regarding the person they are thinking about. We're gonna look at their current energies first, how they view the connection, how they feel about you, what they wish they could tell you, and then we'll have a tarot spread um, for the mutual energies between you, anything we can get about your connection at this time. All right, so let's start with the uh, current energies this person is experiencing. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. I read all of your comments. I really appreciate it. To the sea. Interesting. That one always reminds me of Six of Swords, but that's not what that card is about. So um, I'm going to look at the keywords for that one to let you guys know what that one's about. Because I always get it confused with Six of Swords. What else for this person's current energy is the person that Scorpio is dealing with? yin energy here and time for a nap a lot of um letting go letting things happen going with the flow here one more for this person okay observer someone here could be watching you or you're watching them scorpio someone here could be um observing a different opportunity you know looking at different options here as well look at the book real quick number seven to the C being in flow returning to source recognizing how pieces fit together natural pattern of, of events so definitely with yin into the sea someone here is really kind of going with the flow letting things happen naturally uh, not forcing anything here um, wanting to um, kind of trust in fate and destiny and spirit time for a nap rest rejuvenation and renewal temporary non-action allowing dreams to rot to arise i feel like someone here has been dreaming about you or you about them um someone here is um pausing in this connection there's a pause here from this this the energy i'm picking up from this person um it's almost like they really want to think about things they really want to um Kind of see how things progress um how things happen you know on their own before actually making a move here let's see let's see what other insight we can get let's look at how this person what are their thoughts or feelings towards you or this connection scorpio spirit what is this person's thoughts or feelings towards scorpio or this connection what are this person's thoughts or feelings Towards Scorpio or this connection. This person's thoughts or feelings towards Scorpio or this connection. Oyster. So something needs somebody needs to open up here that hasn't opened up. Swan energy. Uh creative energy here with the swan wanting to again um Maybe they're trying to manifest something and they're trying to think of the best way to do it. What else for this person towards Scorpio? Thoughts or feelings towards Scorpio or this connection? They could also see you as someone very intuitive too with the swan. Okay, and then with octopus, there's some sort of entanglements here. Um, there might be um, history between you two um, there might be something here that needs to be said regarding an attachment that you both have with each other or just an attachment that maybe they have at this time. I feel like someone here needs to open up with the oyster and really reveal something. Something needs to be talked about or brought to the surface here. And it's almost like this person has been really thinking about how to how to make this happen and so in the meantime they're not doing much there's no action here from this person this person's watching waiting resting 
octopus is a very intelligent animal very it could also be a manipulative energy as well let me pull that up real quick so be careful with that um, this person could be attached to something um, toxic uh, so be careful with that uh, reaching yearning lacking boundaries and direction lack of healthy boundaries um, this results in well-intended but messy relationships uh, the octopus entwines itself into other people's business and shares their own without restraint um, they can drain you easily um, establish healthy boundaries so definitely something here that's unhealthy um, and that's kind of the energy that i've been picking up something here either this person's dealing with an unhealthy energy or an unhealthy attachment or you are or this person feels like your relationship your connection is messy so let's see what would they tell you if they had the chance clearly they want to open up maybe we can get some insight into what that is spirit what would this person tell scorpio if they had the chance what would this person tell scorpio if they had the chance Okay, we got I miss you. Again, I'm getting that sense with time for a nap. Someone's been uh, thinking, watching, dreaming. What else would this person say? Don't give up hope. Maybe this person's trying not to give up hope or they don't want you to give up hope on them. Don't give up on me kind of energy. But something here with this octopus, I screwed up. There you go. Okay. Someone here possibly messed up this relationship with their own behavior. Bottom of the deck, a new beginning. I feel like they want possibly a new beginning with you. A new beginning that includes you possibly if they're in a third party situation or some sort of situation away from you. <clears throat> with I miss you, I'm getting the sense that this is not someone that you are currently with or you're in some sort of separation with this person. So let's get some insight into your mutual energies with the tarot. Now this will be looking at you and your person and you together. So some of these message, messages could be just for you, just for the, your person or both of you. Okay. Spirit, what messages can you give me about this connection? Messages regarding this connection, please. messages regarding this connection between Scorpio and this person they are dealing with can you tell me okay okay we got the Emperor sign of Aries here King of Pentacles reverse the fool reverse another card for Aries there what else can you tell me about this connection a new beginning but then again we got the full reverse so it's almost like someone's being a little reckless here taking an, uh, a huge risk your sign of Leo strength card I'm telling you some of you are dealing with a Leo what else can you tell me someone needs courage here with the strength card someone's trying to control their emotions to um, use kindness and restraint to their advantage ten of Pentacles bottom of the deck page of wands reverse some sort of message being blocked here something unable to start with well, a page of wands doesn't finish what they start they kind of just start a bunch of things and they they don't get anywhere with them because they are easily distracted or flimsy you know fickle um we start with the emperor so that tells me as someone here is wanting to take control of a situation someone here wants to be decisive um someone here wants to stabilize something or um, they're coming into their power here then I have the king of pentacles reverse so <laughs> this is somebody that's kind of the opposite of the emperor so it's very interesting energies here could be dealing with two people uh scorpio um, or this could be you the emperor and they could be the king of pentacles reversed or vice versa okay feel free to flip the energies as they resonate king of pentacles reverse is not having a, a good time they <laughs> They tend to be greedy and selfish. They think about themselves, about their their money a lot. Um, they tend to be bad partners because um, they just take, take, take. 
I feel like with the King of Pentacles reverse, your person could be very unstable right now, at least financially. Um, be very careful with someone that is in your life that's dealing, that's ex expressing themselves in this way or dealing, or they're having these energies where, you know, it's like all they're thinking about is themselves because they care about the wrong things. With the full reverse, this is somebody that would definitely be a King of Pentacles reverse because they're, they're the King of Pentacles reverse is very bad with money. <laughs> and the full reverse is almost like somebody that just takes an unnecessary risk. Um, they tend to just kind of just go for it and like F the consequences, forget, you know, the, the fallout. Uh, with strength and ten of pentacles though, I feel like this again is someone wanting to be in a secure long-term commitment here. There could be one of you in a long-term commitment at this time, um, or this is what you both want is to have a long-term commitment, a happy family, stability and security. Um, someone here wants is needing courage or needing to, um, again, exhibit this energy of letting things go, letting things happen, flow naturally, uh, not be so controlling. Um, so let's clarify these and see what messages we can get. This is the Light Seers Tarot. Let me see if I can actually shuffle this way. Probably not, but my hands are not big enough. Okay, Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Scorpio. Let's see what other insight we can get. That's what I'm initially picking up. Okay, tell me about this Emperor. Let's start with the Emperor. What's this Emperor doing here, Spirit? What's this about? Way too many, but the Moon Reverse, interesting. Ace of Swords Reverse, what else can you tell me for this Emperor? Knight of Swords Reverse. Okay, so this Emperor, you can't trust this Emperor is basically what I'm seeing. Or they're just completely blocked from speaking, which is this oyster energy here. What else can you tell me about this Emperor? They could be a little um, unemotional. This Emperor can be someone that doesn't really um, think about things with emotion. In the sense that, you know, they, they, they use their rationale, the, their logic and, and reason to make decisions, not their emotions. Um, with the Seven of Cups that came out kind of in limbo here, it's almost like someone is trying to make a decision, trying to decide, you know, look at their options here. They probably don't know what to do. And that's causing them to be blocked in some way, to have messages intercepted or to have bad communication here. They could be, oh, well, we got the Six of Swords reversed at the bottom. So this Emperor might be wanting to leave a situation and they're coming in like there's this interference here with the knight of swords reverse ace of swords reverse these are bad fights bad communication um, or intercepted communication could also be deception tell me about this king of pentacles reverse for scorpio this king of pentacles reverse doing here taurus virgo uh capricorn energy here with the king of pentacles four of swords reversed Hmm. Two of Pentacles. Again, with the decision, someone here is any is like going back and forth, back and forth, really thinking about something a little too much here. And I feel like it's just causing instability for this person. We got the three of, of wands in limbo here. So I don't know if that's, you know, it just came out sideways. Same with the nine of Pentacles. This person could be debating about the right time to be single the right time to, or, or waiting for the right time to be more stable, more secure. Something about waiting and planning. You know, it's like, maybe they've been waiting too long. Maybe it's too late. Maybe it's not the right time. You know, that's that back and forth they're having. And it has to do with uh, independence of some sort. It has to do with stability of some sort, security. Bottom of the deck, we got strength card again, sign of Leo. Again, trying to have the courage here to make a decision. Tell me about the full reverse. They might just take the risk no matter what, no matter what the fallout is or the consequences are. Tell me about the full reverse. They could also be blocked from a new beginning. Let's see. 
think something about the four rivers. Oh my gosh, the strength card again. <laughs> Okay, what else? Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. Like, it, they just keep popping up here. What about the full reverse? The chariot reverse. Definitely some sort of blockage here. Um, someone here is being forced to choose a new direction. Um, it's gonna be up to them to choose the direction, but it's like this is a clear sign that the path that you're on is not the right one with the chariot reverse. Ace of Wands flipped up right here. So definitely somebody wanting a new beginning, needing to have the courage to choose a different direction. Someone here needs to have the courage to take this risk. And it's like their, their fear is possibly blocking them from going after a new beginning that they want here. Tell me about strength over here. Tell me about strength, thank you. The star reverse. Someone's trying not to give up hope. This could be you or it's your person. Sign of Aquarius with the star. Um, someone here is trying to keep the faith, trying to not give up here. Tell me more about strength. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, and uh, Gemini energy. Someone very direct. Someone who is very intelligent, sees. She knows things, the Queen of Swords. You cannot put anything past her. Knight of Wands reverse. This is somebody who is unable to commit or blocked from being able to commit or um, someone who's just in and out of your life, in and out of your life. You can't rely on them for anything. And they might be apologizing for this with the Page of Cups, Cancer Pisces, um, Scorpio energy there with the Page of Cups. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone here could be wanting to express how they feel to apologize for not being able to commit to you or being in and out of your life, not being reliable. And I feel like you as the Queen of Swords is almost like, well, that's nice. Um, uh, those are nice words, but I need actions behind that. Queen of Swords doesn't just take people's words for, for it and like lets them slide, you know? She is very analytical. She sees through the BS. So I feel like that's the energy that you are going to probably have towards this person, Scorpio. Or vice versa, if you feel free to flip it. Queen of Wands reverse. Definitely there is some sort of um, either someone with a short temper here or someone that's very upset at what's going on. Or this is my home record card because she doesn't care about who she uh, involves herself with. Okay, let me just put it that way. She doesn't care about the consequences. She just cares about her her, um, her wants and needs being met. You could be dealing with someone like that or your person is dealing with someone like that. Or this is the energy that you're picking up. Um, maybe you're just kind of over this person and you're like, I'm just gonna do me, I don't care. You know, or, or you're gonna have a short fuse with this person. Tell me about this 10 of pentacles. What's this Ten of Pentacles doing here? Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Someone's feeling a little bit trapped. King of Pentacles came out upright though. Someone's feeling trapped. I feel like they're trying to, uh, they're more stable here though with the King of Pentacles. Sorry about that, my camera cut off, but I was talking about this King of Pentacles they're more stable, but this could also be somebody in a long-term commitment. They tend to be uh, married or just, you know, in some, some something similar to a marriage. Um, so your person or you could be in a long-term commitment here. And someone feels mentally trapped. So someone feels, I don't know, like they're they're stuck in some way when it comes to this commitment. So let's see what else we got. What else can you tell me, Spirit, about this Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio? Temperance reversed. Sign of Sagittarius here. Something's uh, unable to come together. There's no harmony here, no balance um, in a long-term commitment. Like this could be your connection, Scorpio, with this person in the past, present, or it could be a connection that you are in at this time, or it could be that this person is in a connection right now where it's not very balanced. There's no harmony where they're at. Um, and it's keeping them trapped mentally. Bottom of the deck, eight of cups reverse. 
This could be somebody that is unable to leave a situation or wants to return. Someone left that wants to return here. Tell me more about this 10 of pentacles. Let's get one more. Oh, whoa, whoa. That is way too many. Hang on. Way too many. Tell me more about this 10 of pentacles, please. Poor Scorpio. Queen of Wands reverse. She came out again. So this person's possibly dealing with this King of Pentacles, whether it's you or your person, uh, Scorpio, they're dealing with a Queen of Wands reverse energy. This is not a happy camper. This could be uh, someone interfering in the connection you have with them, Scorpio, or this is someone who's uh, uh, dealing with this King of Pentacles. Um, Again, she tends to be my, my, she, the queen of wands just does whatever she wants. She doesn't care who she inconveniences. She doesn't care what anybody thinks about her. She's going to do whatever makes her happy. And I feel this is cost, costing an imbalance here. Please excuse my nails. I haven't been able to get them done. I'm also, um, I'm, I'm working on that. But anyways, so, um, yeah, I feel like that's causing someone here to be, feel stuck dealing with this queen of wands to uh, the tower reverse at the bottom so it's almost like someone does not want to rock the boat here trying to avoid a tower moment possibly trying to avoid pissing off this queen of wands i don't think it's working but that's the the goal there i'll leave it here scorpio thank you so much for checking out this video please like share and subscribe if you enjoy my readings thank you to everyone who's done that already um also leave me a comment if this resonated because i love hearing from you all right, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.